Here we are, we can uh, see the model. We have a sectioned off here. We're coming from the corner of the eyes and around to the back. We can see the line blending through to above the occipital, just below the crown area. Equal on both sides, nice distribution for a nice balance. We're going to be starting off here in the temple line, and we're going to be using the soft shear, which has a straight blade on one side and a blending shear on the other side. This enables us to cut off lengths and also blend the ends simultaneously. This tool is available from Horst and Friends International. It enables us to work with more speed and still be disciplined with the accuracy. You can see that we're going to be working through the temple area and then into the shortness of the back. We're picking up now on the side. We're going to be cutting this area short from the back of the ear here and then following the shortness right around the head, therefore producing an overlay effect and then we'll start to work into the crown area. I'm starting here by working the hair out directly from the head using a large comb enables us to use larger sectioning formats holding it out from the head having a nice equal tension and then working with the soft shear closest to the head in other words the blending shear is closest to the head the straight blade is on the outside very important when wanting to get a soft blending effect now I'm continually striking with the shears there so that I really blend that line out at this point I'm not working with the straight shear and working with the tapering shear on the inside. Now I'm following the line through, working it out to the same angle, I'm following my guide and cutting, yeah, making sure all the ends are off and then just softening out that line with that continuous motion, combing down and checking for a response. You can see how efficient these soft shears really are. A very soft, even blend with very little effort. Here we go, cutting through and then blending out the ends. We carry on doing this now through to the center, working at the same angle continuously around the head and removing the length. Then softening out scissor over comb technique, just taking out the line. The hair is, at this point is responding very nicely. Around the ear, we still have to take out some of the bulk and we're blending from behind the ear into the nape length. Now we're just working with the feeling and watching the response, combing the hair back down and seeing what it looks like. All these techniques are designed to increase our productivity through creativity by producing tools and design lines which are easy to apply. That's what we at Horst and Friends Advanced Education Center really like to put forward into the profession. It's important that we cut high fashion looks. At the same time, it's important that we do them with good discipline and efficiency. The good hairdresser today really has to not only be able to cut hair well, but has to be able to service well. Servicing well means getting people done on time and out on time. Connecting through here, you see, from the side into the back area. A lot of barbering techniques these days, scissor over comb, to produce these shorter feelings that are so strong 
in our profession right now. As you can see, all that underneath section has been taken down quite short, treating that parting right, the graduation right into the parting there. Now we're coming around to the other side, sectioning off as before, just across the top of the ear and working out the section directly from the head. Using the comb as the guide and working off the length. Then scissor over comb, just blending out those ends. Onto the next section, just behind the ear, bringing that into the section, not over -direct it, directing it forward too much, just keeping it directly from the head and blending that line through. Coming up once again, just tapering out the ends and then looking for the response. All the time working around at the occipital. We're really directing this hair out pretty much to just below or on the occipital. Just a little below the occipital to get that length and weight out from underneath it. So we exaggerate a very nice occipital profile which looks very attractive and extends length to the side view, therefore producing the front with more weight. We'll see that as we go through this haircut. Coming up behind the ear, pulling that those little ends out that we tend to miss and just blending those through. Nicely blended through into the back. We're noticing now the change of texture from those soft sides to the previous thick, bulky finish on the ends and how much more attractive it looks when the hair is soft, which is exactly what the shears are designed to produce. Although it's very short, the texture of it has a nice, soft, feminine look to it. Working the sections up now. And working very much with the blending blade to now make the two sides fit together through the center.